Well, thank you everybody for coming this evening for part two of Alternate Routes, All Roads Lead to Success. Um, I'm Tom Fulton, the Director of Worst College. We have some additional people with us tonight, which is awesome. Um, before we get into tonight, tonight's uh, topic is the continuation for career exploration. We're going to kind of jump into actually strengths quests and talk about some things specifically and do some activities. Um, we did purchase the, for all the, the staff that are here, you guys already have your strengths quest, but we did purchase the token uh, access codes and we'll get them by tomorrow. So anybody that attended today, you'll get a copy um, so that you can complete it for your work grant aid and or for your academic workshop requirement. So, all right, so without further ado, let's go around and just kind of, um, we did last time, is just kind of tell us your name and, and maybe what your, your career interest is. Uh, not particularly the major, because obviously this one's about career development, so you don't necessarily have to have a major yet, but if you do, um, you can tell that as well, and we'll kind of go from there. So who would like to start us off this evening? Okay. I'm Ashley Powers, and I want to be a pediatric patient research surgeon. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I'm Chelsea Powell, and I want to do research with psychology. Research with any particular area <coughs> of research with psychology, or just um, behavioral? Behavioral. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm George Smith, and my interest is occupational therapy. Nice. Very cool. I'm Smith the Word, and I'm interested in astrophysics. And I'd like to go into research with that. Very cool. Thank you. Nice. I'm Ashley Burton, and I want to like concentrate. Okay, I want to be a physician's assistant with a concentration in pediatrics. Cool. Okay. So you're more thinking about for um, pediatric uh, practice, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Okay. I'm Courtney Lawrence. I am a theater and poli sci double major, so I'm looking to have a career as an actress for a while and then go into politics. Very cool. Uh, I'm Kenya A. Lawrence and I want to be a chemistry-based researcher. Oh, cool. Very cool. Any particular type of chemistry or just? Um, medical chemistry. Medical chemistry, okay. So you want to be in the lab trying to help us find cures for things and stuff. Okay, very cool. Well, thank you everybody for coming this evening. If you have not met our lovely intern this semester, uh, no, Miss Christy. <laughs> Christy Sams at the, 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 the Citadel. Uh, you want to tell what program you're in? Oh, I'm in the program for Counselor Education for Student Affairs. So I'm working on that now. <laughs> she was our practicum intern this summer, and she's kept us in all of us. So, very cool. So, thank you guys. So tonight, what we want to do is kind of do a little recap real quick. Um, and then we'll kind of go forward and talk about what we're going to be doing for this evening's activities for our plan. So alternate routes is a kind of a, a building block piece. We kind of come together and we talk about specifics. Um, but before we go into more detail, I kind of want to get an idea, since we have some additional people, about what are some things that you would like to get out of this evening. I always like to do that with you. So what are some things that you'd like to have some takeaways from this evening? How to do a cover letter, because I have to do one this weekend. <laughs> a cover letter, okay. I don't know if we'll actually cover that, cover that today, That's but specific, um, we do have, um, I do have examples of cover letters, so before we leave, make sure you let me know, and we'll talk about that, okay? How to do, how to make a, a good CV. How to make a CV, okay. Uh, curriculum, Vierte? Or yep. Vierte? Yeah, Vierte. It's like a, it's a what? resume, but it's like when you're trying to go to like medical grad school. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's an extension of your resume. So yeah. for professional development, um, usually academia or medical academia uses it. Now the rest of the world, for all intents and purposes, does not utilize a um, unit, but in academia we do as well as medical. I know they look over those bit. All right. Anybody else? Or what would you like to take away, not necessarily objectives, but takeaways from this evening? How many of you would like to know more about strength quests and how you can actually use it? 
be a good one, right? Right? Okay. So. <laughs> Said you'll, we will receive the, the access codes tomorrow. You guys will receive them in an email. So with your name um, denoted next to one, and you'll have to just log on. Now the assessment takes about approximately 25 to 35 minutes, depending on how long it takes you to answer the questions. Um, the cool thing about StressQuest is that the test is intuitive. So um, if you are undecisive, the test will actually move progressively go forward. So if you take too long on a question, it will actually move on to the next question. <laughs> so and that's part of the, that's part of the assessment. So it's kind of cool. So it's kind of got that piece, and then it'll give you a, a nice, really com cool composite that we'll utilize as we go forward. Okay. Um, besides strengths quest and usage of the strength quest, anything else that you guys wanted to talk about? So. Okay. Um, I want to start out with doing a little little icebreaker activity first. Okay. And I think this is going to kind of get us um, on the, the page of thinking about strengths quest, but. Um, specifically, targeting kind of what we want from ourselves. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do this activity with values. So pass those down. Yep, just too much. All right. Oh, sorry. Hey. <laughs> All right, so think of, think of the bullseye. How many of you, I mean, any target people go target practice? So, okay. Any archers or uh, archery? Okay. Or, or go and use, you know, with a fire range or anything? Anybody? Oh, I've played archery on the wing. Okay. Me too. Okay, very similar. All right, when you think of the, the, the actual bullseye and an archery, there's how many points or how many pieces on there? There's six, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about those six points. your values. Now when I talk about values, I'm not talking about how, um, well first of all, let's define values. So when you think about values, what do you think of? Beliefs. Beliefs, okay. Morality. Morality. Okay. Now, when you actually live out your values, what is that called? So values, we are talking about beliefs and morality. When you actually engage and utilize or live, live out your values, that's called behaviors, right? Okay. So it's kind of like putting them in action, right? So living... Your, think of a bullseye, an archery bullseye, or a, a gun range bullseye, as the different levels of things that you value. Okay? Um, in the sheet in front of you, you have six different levels. Okay? What I want you to do is, does everybody have pins with them? Yes? No? No? We need more pins? I think we have just enough. Okay, cool. Alright, what I want you to do is on the, the bullseye value is one of the things, think about six things that you value on your in, in your core level as a being, as a person, um, from your upbringing. Think about some things that you value as an individual. Okay, that would be the, the, the center point. And then I want you to work forward. So think total of six different things that you value as a person. Okay? Take a few minutes to do that, and then we're going to um, share it with a partner and come back and, um, and discuss it as a group.
you to do now is I want you to get with your partner. So if you want to get up and move around over across the room, you can do that as well. Um, but anybody have a partner? Yes? No? Okay. So some of us might need to move in order to get a partner. Okay. All right. So I want you to share um, going from the innermost or the bullseye going outward. Okay? So the bullseye is the most core value um, or target value that you have. And then as we kind of go forward, specifically, they're more surface value. Okay? All right? Just take a few minutes to do that. Okay, so that is And then Okay. Well, I didn't number them. I don't think I put respect and just like mentoring and like helping other people and being true to yourself. I always miss it when she's dressed up. I think still in part like in front of the way can I teach you about African So let's come back together as a group. Let's come back together as a group. So would anyone like to share some information they learned about their their partner? Anybody? Okay. My partner, she is she really cares about people and their happy. Like that's what I got from her correlation. Okay. So your values are determined by other people's happiness? And I don't even there. think she she thought about that when she was not that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she, that's what she got out of it. That worked. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anybody else? Um, she's very patient and understanding of others. Okay. She's gotten her first job as an RA and she loves it. Congrats. Very cool. Nice. Okay. Anybody else? She's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> that's a value. That's a value. <laughs> well, yeah, especially when you have a good roommate. That's like that's a good She's value. a great roommate. Aww. She is. <laughs> She's one of my faves. 
on your face. Okay. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> um, she likes to help people. She likes to keep busy. Um, she's caring and nice and beautiful. <laughs> is this trying to suck up to somebody? <laughs> yeah, no, I just love her. Oh, okay. I'm just, okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else like to share? Yeah. Um, my partner, she's very honest and like she likes to help others. But, um, and then like her last one, like she felt like she had filled it up, but then her last one was like not being lazy. But like I think she's good with five, like that's six one was like unnecessary. But she's a good okay. person. So it's kind of hard. Aww. How many of you for for you the five were okay? Yeah, How many of you for five were okay. Five. Yeah. Okay, five. Some of you it sounded like six was a real stretch, right? Yeah. Why do you think it was a stretch? We don't think that far. That's too deep, right? It is. That's yeah. too deep. Now, how many of you found it really easy to do the one that's the bullseye to yeah. be the, the core part? Everybody? Yes? It was almost hard to choose yeah. which one you wanted the two center one because there's like several important things. You say right. kind of just have to order it so the first one's almost a tiny bit ahead of the second one. Ah, uh -huh. so there's kind of a sequence almost, really. Yeah. So they're kind of succinct with the next one that kind of progresses as you go forward. So really, technically, they're all interconnected in some shape or form or fashion, right? Mm -hmm. But the bullseye is kind of our core being as you continue going forward um, and you get up to that number six. Number six is probably the reason why it's harder is because it's that surface value, right? Mm -hmm. And surface value is, is how, does the, how do we decide what that looks like? Or, or do we decide what it looks like? It's like the least important thing that you worry about. Like my right. six value for like my appearance and all types of things. Okay. So you're comfortable with who you are. Yeah. You're, you're you're you you're who you are, through and through. That's it. Because my core values, like my core values, um, affect how I appear to others. So like I'm okay. good on the inside. So how I appear on the outside. Okay. Is, like, how I am on the inside. Okay. So. Cool. You had something to interject. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now, as we go forward, we're going to continue talking about Strengths Quest and exploring strength quests more in de and definitely talking about kind of getting a deeper perspective and then developing a deeper understanding of where we were going specifically, okay? So types of assessments that you might have heard of before on the, on the college campus, obviously, focus, you, could, you guys heard of focus, right? Type focus? Yes? No? Mm -hmm. That's the common one that can't, the college of Charleston uses. It's kind of a combination in terms of it's got personality as well as interest in the actual assessment specifically. Um, Strace Quest, which is what we're going to be using. The Myers Briggs type indicator, you guys have taken that one before? Anybody? That's more of a personality based assessment. Uh, the Strong Interest Inventory, which is one of my favorites, it's more interest based. So it's based on um, Holland's model for career development. So you kind of get a, a really lovely, um, it's pretty long, but I mean, you know, comprehensive is probably what I would call it. Comprehensive plan of where your, where your skill sets are and what your interests are. Uh, Self-directed search is more individualized, um, and then there, there's a values inventory, which is based on values specifically, and then always there's always a skills survey specifically, and that's kind of why we took kind of, kind of this idea about what are some of our core values specifically, where our target values are, to kind of get an idea about where we're going with that roadmap. Okay. okay. Now, what is self-assessment? So when you hear that word, that that phrase, self-assessment, what do you think about? Anybody? Judging yourself. Judging yourself. Okay. Now, why, now that's an interesting perspective. Why did you use the word judging? Because you have to look deep inside and figure okay. out things about yourself. Okay. So it's looking at yourself like, introspectively. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just think of when you look at yourself, you kind of judge like who you are. The person. Okay. Anybody else? What? We're, we're talking about the phrase self-assessment, basically. When you hear the when you hear the word self assessment, what's the first thing you think about? Assessing yourself. Okay. So pretty self explanatory, right? Yeah. It's like um, is assessment um, the process of um, evalu evaluating what you are. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what it is. So um, earlier we talked about, I want to kind of re go back and re review, we talked about different types of career assessments there are. So there's some that are based on personality, some that are based on interest, some that are kind of a combination of the two, some that are more individualized, and some that are values-based specifically. So there's, there's 
num numerous types of assessments that are out there. Um, but this definition right here is probably a really good definition. It's kind of long. But self-assessment is a process by which you learn more about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, and how you tend to react to certain situations. Knowing these things can help you determine which occupations and work situations can be a better fit for you. You may recognize some of these tools if you ever work with a career counselor or consultant. Now, what you like, what you don't like, and how you tend to react to certain situations. Is that a new, new perspective for some of you? How you react to certain situations? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? I don't, know. I don't think you actually think about how you react. You just react. So you don't think like. So impulse. You yeah. just, just impulse. You just kind of just go with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else? As you get older, um, how you react to certain situations, like you improve on it. Yeah. Because I can know, like, I can say, I know, I've seen improvement in myself. How I react to like certain situations. Like I'm more mature now. Like back then. Probably in high school, if, like a certain situation, I'll probably react like out of my character to right. certain things, but now I'm out of control. Absolutely. You've heard that phrase, what if I had known now what I knew then? Yeah. yeah? That's usually kind of very typical of that <laughs> specifically. So, absolutely what you said. So, growth, right? It shows growth in ourselves personally, professionally, academically, in our goals and our objectives um, specifically. But in, in more more in detail, it kind of looks at you know what our interests are. So it kind of helps start formulating questions that we want to ask ourselves. So I'm going to ask some questions to you guys. So on the back of your papers, if you want to write this down, because uh, you cannot make a copy of this, but you can write these down. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions, OK? So I think we've got enough colors over here. Oh, sorry. That's pretty too. <laughs> The inner child coming out, it's good, nothing wrong with that. All right, so in ancient times, writers pointed to what they called the four elements, right? The four elements that uh, rep were representative of our core person, is what they would say. So on the, the innermost piece, which is kind of, you can kind of relate back to the bullseye, is what I want to think about that as being heart, okay? So your heart about you as an individual. Now. When you think about heart, here's some things I want you to think about. I want you to think about, on an internal level or internal realization of yourself, is think about what are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? So what is a driving force or a passion that you really have? Number two, what is the greatest tragedy that you've ever, um, ever faced? What is the greatest tragedy that you've ever faced? Is that you have a witness? Witness could be, yeah. Experienced, witnessed. Um, and then number three is what you really love to do. Okay? So number one is what are you really passionate about, most passionate about? Number two, um, the greatest tragedy that you witnessed or been a part of. Um, and number three, what you really love. Okay. How are one and three different? Well, passion can come as a secondary thing to love. So you could be in love with something, but not passionate about it. Because mm -hmm. there's a difference. So love, and I think sometimes it can be synonymous. Because I mean, for me, I love what I do, and I'm passionate about it. So it kind of shows. Mm -hmm. So I think you can have a nice blending of the two. But I think sometimes for individuals that do work, say they might um, they might love what they do, but they might not be passionate about it. They might be passionate about um, social justice, you know, or restorative justice, but they don't work in that field. <clears throat> so it can be kind of go hand in hand. So there's lots of opportunities. Okay. All right. That's the first one. Number two is the soul. So we're going to kind of do like. Two is the soul. Okay? So here's some questions I want you to think about. What is the most meaningful thing you've ever done? What is the most meaningful thing you've ever done? Number two, I feel a sense of destiny when. Number two is I feel a sense of destiny when. 
statement number three, I come alive when I am. I come alive when I am. How would you like, could you explain like number two in a different way? Okay. Um, so I feel, I feel a sense of destiny when. So destiny would be, some people think that you cannot run away from destiny. That it's pre preordained or pre -pre it's predetermined. So your course, <laughs> so the course that you're going towards right now, um, if you're meant to do that, you're going to be there regardless. Mm -hmm. Regardless if you have your highs or your lows, you're going to eventually get there. Okay. So destiny could be, um, let's see. What that happening? No. <laughs> What's not happening? Uh, not not in this aspect, but in, I, I, in this life. Well, no, I'm just talking about in terms of career, thinking about personal stuff. Oh, person, you're talking about career. Yeah. What yeah. about um, confirming experiences? So, right. like, you feel confirmation, like, this is what I need to be doing because I'm so X, Y, and Z. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Another thing that I was going to say is you feel a sense of um, a deep gut feeling. So, you know, when you experience something or you do something and you have that feeling where you feel like, oh, my gosh, yes. This feels good. This yes. Yeah, then that's kind of that sense of destiny talking to yourself, right? Okay. And then number three, of course, is uh, I come alive when. So what kind of makes you alive? So if you're having a bad day or you're having a, uh, a day, because we all know that you know, even if you're a positive person, occasionally you're going to have those days. I mean, it happens. We're human. But on those days, if something happens to trigger you to get back into that positive way of thinking um, or positive mindset. What allows you to come alive? Okay. And then number three is the mind. Okay, the mind. So I'm going to put a little brain up here. Pathways. Is the, the mind. All right. So with the mind, we want to think about, I like to think about, what are some things that you like to think about or like to contemplate? Number two is, I wonder why, what, blank. So what are some things that you like, that you wonder about? Yeah, it could be something you like. Not necessarily. Okay. Could be just something you're curious about. That, that initial uh, deep curiosity that we have as humans, as people, um, to explore and need to understand. Can you repeat number one? Number one is I like to think about. So ways you like to think about things, or topics you like to think about. Number two is I wonder why. So some things that are on your mind you're wondering about, and you might not have an answer. That's okay. And then number three is, I really believe that. I really believe that. I know. Yeah. And then finally, the fourth element is what they would call earth or strength. So, a little, little muscle. There you go. <laughs> Only a little person, right? A little person. What is that? What? Well, it's like a little muscle, like on like this. Oh. Uh, I, I didn't say my bronze skills were great when I do little things. I would see a rubber duck. Oh, okay. I got it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess it could be like a radio I can wait. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, oh, that's that's right. Right. So, on, so on this one, on the strengths, uh, these are just the three questions I want you to think about. I am most capable of, so when you're most capable of doing things or performing, I'm most capable of, number two is, I have a talent for, I have a talent for, and that could be raw talent, okay? And then number three is, I seem gifted in the following areas. I seem gifted in the following areas.
questions about any of, any part of those four pieces? Four. They call the four elements. The second one. The second one of uh, strength. Strength. Um, I have talent four. So your natural talent, your talent. I have talent four. I was going to ask, could some of these repeat, or would you prefer us to use a different name? Um, that's totally up to you. I think I think some of them might might overlap, okay. and that's okay. Because okay. we're remember, it's more building blocks. Remember, right. we're building each each week on these workshops, mm -hmm. um, so it's okay if some of these are kind of in or near coordinated. And that's fine. So, anybody else? So which of the questions which of the questions created the strongest response? I can't remember um, any of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, she can go ahead. No, she just Oh, my bad. Um on um, the first part number two. The first part number two? Mm -hmm. So the soul, I feel a sense of destiny win? No, I'm the bullseye. Oh, number two. Okay. Yeah, number two. Okay. The hardest part of tragedy or whatever you said. Oh, oh, the, the heart. heart. Oh, the heart. Yeah, the oh, heart. I'm sorry. Okay. Did I say something else? Oh, I thought you could. Yeah. <laughs> um, part <laughs> one, number two. So, mm -hmm. the greatest tragedy. Yeah. So that was that. Yeah. Okay. Why did that? Why did that one stand out? You think? Um, because uh, I've had a rough childhood, so like, uh, like my dad shot himself, so I mean, that like really stuck out to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. It's the heart. Um, I, if you looked at my city map, obviously last week I shared my, my mom passing. That was mm -hmm. one of the most hardest things that I've had to do. Yeah. This. We just celebrated our 10th year anniversary last year. So mm -hmm. this December is, is exciting because it's my fourth year anniversary of college, but it's mm -hmm. also the 11th year of my mom's yeah, mine passing. Be, mine will be 13 years soon. Mm -hmm. so, um, which ones did you leave blank? Did you leave any blank? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a blank one. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody left a blank? I have a hard time answering as we go. You can. I mean, I'm, I'm like, just kind of asking questions as a collective, as a group. What number was that? I have two. Well, maybe three. I could have like left like I have talent for okay. blank. Uh, I put talking. Yeah. I put like that's helping others. So I'll play. I'll try to think out of the box, not like I can play an instrument. Oh, procrastinating is okay. another talent. <laughs> really good at that. So you were the kid that got written up in school? Every elementary school, I think I got like a card for talking every single day <laughs> of my elementary career. Okay. Who else? Uh, but I'm, I'm with Georgia on talent because I don't know if I'm too in the box about that word. I think yeah. about people that can sing or like if you do magic. That's what I think of, but then I so I wouldn't think about talking. But that makes sense. That. Yeah, because that's what I'm good at doing is talking. <laughs> yeah, it's like the I can't say important. Yeah, I mean, I can soul kind of draw up a drum. The second part of right. soul, but like, <laughs> so, like I feel like this is a desk. Not really an actor. Uh, like, that one. Yeah. No. Right. It's like that's 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 that is a vague term. It's destiny. So the, the concept of the sense of destiny. It's like it could be like <laughs> anything across the board. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Casey was just saying that what resonated with her the most was the second part of the soul. What do you mean resonate? Um, that stood out to you. That. That stood it's out to you. because of, I can't. Yeah, that's fine. For whatever reason, I mean, it doesn't have to be a. A positive, negative, or anything. I mean, it just stood out to you. Okay. Um, let's see. What is the other question? I like the destiny question. You like the destiny question? That was the, your favorite. Yeah. Every day, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what patterns do you begin to see as you spontaneously respond to these questions? What are some patterns that you see? You mentioned one right there. You mentioned a correlation, right? That what if I answer similarly to each question or to a number of questions? So there's a pattern, right? There's a correlation. So they kind of kind of build on one another. They're foundation blocks. Okay. Any other patterns that kind of develop? I noticed that I left kind of the same ones blank. Okay. Like in each category, there's one that I left blank, but I feel like those questions kind of all relate. Ah. Okay. So which number in each category? Um, like the most meaningful thing, what I'm most capable of, 
um, that I like to think about, or like what I wonder about. Okay. Those okay. Um, I can see like the the main themes and then like the sub levels they like all go to it like in my heart like the first thing was like academics and future career like that is my passion that's part of my heart right and like the second one is a tragedy which is my grandmother like seeing my grandma sick and struggling like and then like that is like she has like she holds a special place in my heart and then my like the second one question was a third one was like um what do you love and i was like my loved ones so like all that deals with my heart and then so it goes with so like I don't know, gives up with no hesitation. When I beat the statistics and achieving my goals, and then like I work best when I'm put under pressure or when others depend on me. Okay. And then like mine, I like all the, the word I can use was think, think, and believe. So, like, okay. Everything works. Yeah, nice. Okay. Anybody else want to add to that? Wait. Um. What? Can I like talk about the tragedy? Yeah. Is they um. Is that, I don't know if they have that much tragedy happen to me, person, directly, but, um, my, my, um, uh, my, uh, paternal, uh, father, grandfather was, uh, was, uh, wasn't there for my dad or his sibling, and, it, and that's why like, he doesn't, he doesn't, it, that's his pet peeve. Because for uh, when uh, man do not like take care of his children, so right. that's how so, you know what it's like. Okay, so he so he gotta go. Your your dad goes the extra mile, is what you're saying, in terms of um, trying to compensate for for what his father did not do. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Um, what might <laughs> those responses and patterns help you see in a career planning process? So what might that pattern see if there's a reoccurring theme or a building block? I mean, I feel like it'll like reassure you that, okay, this is how you are. Maybe this is what you should be doing. Like she was saying, it's like the Disney thing. Like okay. Confirmation of certain things you may have been thinking about. I'm like, okay, I get this. Okay, maybe this is what I really like since I kind of do it often and I kind of enjoy it. So. Nice. <laughs> Anybody else? I think it can also show you what you shouldn't be doing. Ah. I know I'm not very good at talking, so I don't think I'd be a good counselor. Somebody would probably just tell me what they're feeling and be like, that's all right, that's good. Like, you know what? Yeah. But it's more of listening, so you like listen. Okay. Yeah, I can listen to people, but I'm not, I can't say much back. I mean, I can kind of... Help them a little bit, but I say things usually as short as I possibly can. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Alright, I guess like off of the other thing you were talking about too. For me, <laughs> I know. Um, for me, I kind of saw. I mean, I'm a poli sci theater major, and I know that sounds crazy to most people, but this exercise really helped me to see why I'm drawn to both. Okay. That makes sense. So, like, we did the bullseye exercise, and, like, she pointed out, and I didn't even see it. She's like, you, like, help other people. But the reason I'm kind of drawn to both through this, I can tell, like, I said my passion was politics, and I love to do acting. And then from there, everything else is pretty much interrelated to both of them. It's about helping other people understand and relate to others, and then moving past that. So, okay. I don't know. Did you just get confirmation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel better now. <laughs> Very nice. That's kind of a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling, right? Anybody else get confirmation? Did it kind of reaffirm some things that you were thinking about or some things that you're currently doing? I think it helped. Yeah, I would agree that it helped connect some things. On the right direction. <laughs> so I'm like up and down about what I should major in. Okay. So it's kind of confirmed what well, I like to do. So. Okay. So re reconfirm some things that you already thought you had, yeah. or thought you knew, but just kind of gave you a different perspective, kind of view a different lens, as they say, um, to view. Um, yeah, should do. That. <laughs> okay. Or what you really want want to do. Yeah. Right? Okay. Cool. All right. Let's move on. To the next piece. All right. So Strace Quest. So there are thirty-two um, types of strengths that you could have <laughs> specifically okay so like I said not everybody has taken the strengths quest yet which is fine 
Uh, we'll do that in the next few days. But what we're going to do right now is I have these Strengths Quest cards. And so what I want to do right now is I want to get together in many groups. I think we could do groups of three or four. I think we could do one group of one group of three, like, no, one group of four, and two groups of three. We could do that. So like here, here, and then here. If you want to do that. Okay. So we're going to get you a stack of some cars, and I want you to go through them specifically and think about, first of all, look at the actual word from the list, and then I want you to look at the definition and then talk about it and see. Is that something that you can relate to, first of all, on a personal level? Number two, is it something that you might could see yourself envisioning for one of your core values? And then also, um, number three, is it something that you could see in a career? Okay. So, let's see. I can't remember how many cards you started. I guess there are a few, so. So what we're going to do is you guys get together in a group, and I want you to look at your cards. They're not all the same cards, so we have all 32 pieces, so we're not going to cover all these today, obviously, but we're going to talk about them, okay? So get together with the group and look through your cards. First of all, look at the word, and then look at the descriptive um, definition, and talk about that. And see, number one, is this something that you can see um, yourself doing in terms of your passion? Does it relate to you? Number two... Do you see it as potentially part of your core value, your bullseye? And then number three, do you see it as a potential possibility of something that you might be able to enter for in your career? Okay. Any more questions or is that what you got it? Well, if you like already took it, but then like you feel like a word relates to you. Then you can use that, that's fine. That's not allowed. No. And that's fine. So You took the test wrong. <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> Alright, so guys, you want to get your together in your groups? Who's the four? Well, let's just make this easy since we have a half spread. So we can do, let's do three here, three here, I mean three here, and then three here. Let's go, let's go back and bring it back. Yeah, so, so first of all, let's get let's take some insights away from this activity. What first of all, what did you think about your six cards that you were given? Because I didn't know what they were. We just drew I just drew them out of a pile and gave them to you. First initial thoughts, anybody? Um, the first card was like individualization. And I don't think none of us, that was like none of us mm -hmm. at all. So <laughs> that's me. That's, that's one, of my, one of my five. And we had talks that, and then like analytical was like both of them. Oh, okay. Like I like, I, I analyze when I have to, but I'm not going to analyze by the time. And then, but self-insurance included adaptability and activator. Um, Oliver's word, but like activator, like some of us push it aside because like they are often impatient. Like I'm not impatient. You know, she's not impatient, but she's impatient. So, like I like to activate things, but I'm not like, oh man, I need it now. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't get now. Like oh, I'm gonna get mad. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm like, this is done. Stop playing. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, no, if it's really important, then yeah. But I can, I can just smooth out. Okay. Okay. Cool. Anybody else? In our group, we found like there are certain cards that pertain like specifically to each each person, and then we had some that kind of went for all four of us, and then we had I think one that didn't really go with anyone. Okay. Or not. Context. It's kind of questionable. It, it, right. it, context is questionable, but Casey felt pretty strongly about context for herself. Okay. Which was pretty cool because I didn't um, think of that option before. She saw it in a different way. So what was yeah, she saw yeah. it in a much different way. What was context? Did. Context was like focusing on history in order to understand the present. Yeah, it was says right? um, people who are especially talented in context theme enjoy thinking about the past. They understand the present by researching its history. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Right. That's pretty interesting. Anybody else? That's for us. <laughs> We're all kind of a little bit um, of competitors at times with each other. Ah. So even when we got the cards, yeah. it was kind of like, who gets the whole card? Yeah, I noticed that when you went yeah, first put it out. Like, <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> like, I'll have the keys to the kingdom here. Yeah, like, even, like, I don't know, like, we don't compete against each other, but I guess, like, for us, it's kind of, like, to be better than ourselves, like, when we were yesterday, like, to okay. be the best in our everyday selves, even, I guess, the best other people, too, okay. to be better. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? What about us, Kurt? Uh, me and Tom were similar. We, we well picked us. the same one that we were not. We are not infamous. No. This is definitely not us. We don't collect the archive things, but... <laughs> we know what we know. We know what we know what we know. <laughs> and we have, we have, we have information that kind of goes with that. Yeah. But anything beyond that, we have to continue you know, to, to rely on others. So. Yep. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, the first card that we had was Harmony. Basically, people who are especially talented in Harmony theme look for consensus. They don't enjoy conflict, rather they seek areas of agreement. So, you know, like, so if we can find the understanding place, we can find there. But we know we realize that conflict is going to happen. Yeah. Because conflict is, an, is inevitable, and sometimes we have to have it in order to grow. Yeah. Um, Another one that we had that we said would be great, but we didn't say it was us, was which one? One of the ones that oh, we, no, we like that one. Yeah. One of the ones that we said that we, we liked, but it was a different context, was consistency. Because when you think of consistency, you think of a core value, right? So this says people who are especially talented in consistency thing are keenly aware of the need to treat people the same. They try to treat everyone fairly by setting clear rules and adhering to them. Okay. And because I was saying like consistency means a lot of stuff to me, like I want to be consistent in the way that I treat people. And Tom pointed out that when you meet people for the first time, <clears throat> that's like your impression of them, and you have that idea of them, like that's a consistent. And I said that's not fair, because people change. You got levels to you, so, you know, you gotta. But um, unfortunately, I'll, that, that, that is perception. People, you know, they say the first five seconds of when you meet someone or the first five minutes of an interview, someone's already, they, they've already determined who you are. So you, they could have written you off and not even given you a chance, you know? So. <laughs> oh, she took your card. <laughs> you guys will pass those cards down this way. Listen, you're supposed to be passing. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we could. What time is that? Six o'clock. I can be in eight o'clock. Yeah. All right. If we get past the next section in time, I think we could probably do one more round. I'm just doodling. All right. So, so. Once we get to figure out where your um, strengths, um, strengths plus um, assessment in terms of your core skills, they actually came up with the four basic pieces, four domains of base leadership. So, and you as a professional, as you matriculate forward with your career, your major, um, your academics, going into leadership positions, becoming a peer mentor, becoming a president of a sorority fraternity, um, or campus organizations or activities, these come into play. So you kind of see where they fall. So the first one is execute. So you execute things, tasks, or projects. Um, so that falls in with achiever, arranger, belief. There's that consistency again. Uh, deliberative, discipline, focus, responsibility, and restorative. Okay. Uh, the influencing piece. So you're influencing people. You're directly working with them. Um, activator, command, communication, uh, competition. <laughs> Maximize your self-assurance, significance, and woo. So I'm a, I'm a woo in kind of communication, so they're both in, in influencing people. So uh, Building relationships, adaptability, connectedness, developer, empathy, harmony, includer, individualization, positivity, and relator. So, um, and then strategic, analytical, content, futuristic, ideation, Input, intellection, learner, and strategic. So, does anybody have an idea kind of where they're starting to look like they're going to fall, maybe, potentially? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Where do most of yours fall, Jordan? Um, most of my fell in um, relationship building. Relationship building? Yeah. Okay. And that would be 
core for what you want to do. Yeah. Going on to become an occupational yeah. therapist, working with people, helping them accomplish their goals and, and have benchmarks, especially after um, accidents or traumatic events and things specific. Okay. Anybody else? Influencer. You're an influencer, mostly? Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense as you are going to <laughs> teaching professor. Okay. How about yourself? Uh, mine, I remember, was like almost exactly even, but I had one actual one question. Uh, mine were uh, communication and woo, so <laughs> two influencing, um, individualization and empathy, two in relationship building, and one in strategic. So I, I had none in executing. So that was not mine. I was across the board. Across the board? Yeah. I had one in execute, one in influence, two in relationship, and one in strategic. Okay. Did you already took the... So, um, the peer mentors and I have, but you guys were actually, you ordered them, they'll be here tomorrow. So we'll, we'll send you an email with them. Okay? okay. So you'll get your own code, code and I'll give you directions about how to take it. Yeah. Just make sure when you take it, um, make sure your friends aren't bugging you, make sure the cell phone's not ringing, because it really it takes about 25 minutes. Okay. But um, it's going to be intuitive, like I said before, because if you don't answer questions, it's going to go on to the next one. So it's going to force you to answer questions, Right. Anybody else? It's like I think I'm more like um, pretty much across the board. I don't know. Okay. So you got you think you have pieces in all of them, okay? Mm -hmm. And that could possibly be, you know, this this assessment has been utilized with five million people across the world. Five million people. So when you take this assessment, you're going to have common language, common core language with people from Bangladesh to Tokyo to Germany to Scotland, as we talked about earlier, um, that may be coming in their own independent country in the next 24 hours to 48 hours, um, to Canada, to Mexico. Um, so very interesting. Yeah, they're, they're having some civil war problems right now. It's, it's, oh, it's brewing. they have been forever. Who? Scotland. Scotland huh? But they're voting right now to decide they want to secede from the UK, which the Prime Minister is trying. And the Queen. And the Queen, trying mm -hmm. intently not to let it happen. But, you know, it's, it's coming. So it's going to so be interesting to see that. They're doing the votes by hand. Yeah. What? They're doing the votes like by hand. Oh, like pen and paper, so it's taking oh, forever, wow. like count okay. up, so they don't know it's still like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't have technology. Yeah. There you go. I guess they want to make sure that. I guess they don't vote as much as we do. <laughs> sure. yeah. question is why. So this kind of gives you an idea about where you might fall. And once again, when we take the assessment, we will bring this back up next week in our the last part of the, the Connected Pieces for Alternate Routes with Life After Graduation. So we kind of get to revisit that as well and talk about the end. All right. So now I want you to think about why a name of, a, of an effective or successful person on the line. So. So obviously on someone on one of your pieces of paper you have this, this slide in your packet. So write the name of an effective or successful person on the line below. What are some characteristics of this person? Some things that stand out to you. Okay. So I'll give you a few minutes to write the name and, and some characteristics of that person. Would anybody like to share? Um, maybe. Okay, go ahead. Um, I remember. 
my mom and my grandmother, but it's really more of my grandmother. Um, the characteristics that she has, she's like really focused and she has her mind set on a particular goal. Like she'll do anything to like get to that point. Okay. And she's like very headstrong and very confident. So I guess it trickled down to my mom and I'm trying to, you know, live up to that. Okay. So, yeah. Yes, um, well, I wrote two names, Bill Gates and then my godfather, um, Corey Smith. Um, okay. Bill Gates is futuristic, creative, and he's an includer, and he's uh, positive. I'm not sure if he went to school, but then, like, my um, my godfather, who, he didn't go to school, but he's focused, driven, and determined, and um, now he's, like, he's the Southeastern Regional Director for Bobby John. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So. Cool. Thank you. Do you like it? We need one. Yeah, we need one of those on campus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I said that uh, <laughs> Lauren's like very outgoing and open and non judgmental. She's helpful and encouraging. She's really good, like giving advice. She's smart, charismatic, leader, and you're well balanced. Hey, so you're getting the love in the corner over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yours was easy, you're a fuzzy, yeah. right? I got a big sweater on right now. Anybody else? So additional questions I want you to think about is now complete the following statements about yourself. The time when I was at my best. The time when you were at your best. And it doesn't have to be in college. It can be in high school if you thought. Uh, but a time when you were at your best. Um, take as much time as you need for each one, depending on if, if they apply to you. Um, number two, the best thing about me is, the best thing about me, about you as a person, the best thing about me. Number three, what I enjoy doing the most, what I enjoy doing the most. Number four, the best time in my life is or was, the best time in my life is or was. I earn my best grades when I. I earn my best grades when I. I enjoy learning about. I enjoy learning about. And the last two, the best job I've ever had was, the best job I've ever had was, or the best project I've ever been involved with was. The best project <laughs> I've ever been involved with. Take a few minutes to fill that out. Well, these are some things to think about as we go forward to building your strengths or utilizing your strengths specifically. So the first one up here we have is um, the strength. So it's the ability to consistently provide near perfect performance in a specific task. Okay? That's pretty explanatory, right? Um, so then we have strengths, and we go over to talents. So I have a, a person throwing a baseball here. Uh, talents are naturally reoccurring patterns of thought, feeling, or behavior that can be predict productively, right? Um, continuation, right, as we see. Those are things we talked about originally, things that were kind of our natural talents, things that we're born with. Um, skills, yeah, I think, no, I think you can see it. Um, skill is the basic ability to move through the fundamental steps of a specific task. So, how many of you have learned a new skill in the last six months to a year? A new skill? So, okay, all right. Anyone like to share? Mm -hmm. Communication skill and then checking all of the car. Okay, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. um, mine are DIYs. Okay. It's great to hear. Dash and this It's great. Okay. Cool. I saw you can't go up. Yeah, well, a couple of things. I had two days of 16 hours of suicide prevention. Oh, yeah, that too. And in my classes, we learned like a lot of new skills on like how to talk to people and what mm -hmm. questions to ask and like how to look at behavior and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Thank you, everybody. And then finally, yeah. uh, I put a picture of a book with emotional intelligence on it knowledge. 
what you know as a result of either, either formal or informal education. So formal, obviously, being academia, right? Um, K through 12. Informal could be street smarts. You know, growing up on a farm, learning certain uh, urban skills or rural skills that you have on how to navigate a city successfully, right? The what now? It's not me. No. I can't navigate to a city. Well, it's, it's you learn. It's growth. You learn. It's not something you naturally have. For me, I, I have to get lost a few times in the city before I can follow So that's how I, how I operate. You, you could be really good at using the GQs. Yeah. No. Hey, GPSs, they, they still are in our perfect. I, I, I had my Google GPS and, and she took me way out in the sticks. So I, was like, <laughs> and I was like, where am I going? Um, you know, I didn't even know we had a North and South Carolina, which is very interesting. Oh. North South Carolina, yes. Who knew? <laughs> right next to Saldia. Yeah, Saldia, North South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah, I was, I was, I said, welcome to North South Carolina. I was like, they made it though. <laughs> <laughs> they made it. I was like, wait a minute. I feel like this is like the Twilight Zone. I know. Yeah, I was waiting for some yeah, music or something. Yeah. Where am I? Sorry, back on. So as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, the consistent building blocks. So strengths kind of help us formulate um, and, and allowing us to see what some of our natural talents are, right? And kind of them. And then skills are things that we learn. And then knowledge is things that we also take in. So input information from either formal or informal settings. All right. So now as we continue building on your foundation, adding to your career routes to your map. So uh, this is where you're going to be adding to your, your career map. So for those of you that are new, you guys will get a board, and you can start working on these specifically. So um, those of you that have already completed yours, you can give them a little hand and be their, their guidance, support, so as they go through the piece. Um, but we have a lot, of, a lot of great examples over here, too, if you want to look at them. So, this is, this is Courtney's again. She did a great job. So. So he told me it wasn't complete earlier, so there's that. <laughs> I asked her if it was complete. I didn't say it wasn't really complete. It says it needs more color. I, it's okay. I'm, I'm colorful. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is mine. Yeah. So, yeah, I like color. Like color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy moly. That looks like artwork. Right. Yeah. That's, right. That's what I was going for. I was going for the, the, game, the, life, the game of life of Tom's life. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, absolutely. Except no one's seen this. Yeah, this is uh, Miss George Jets, I believe. So I like she kind of did that. And it's still in there. Are we getting these pictures? You can't. Yeah. We did some other groups, so. Yeah. 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 Oh, someone's, I think someone started this, but we don't have anything else. I think some other things. All right, so. You guys can work on that now. Um, 